previously in Let's Play Mega Man X5. Alright guys, I just wanted to play as uh, Zero here for the intro stage because I wanted to show you that, well, when I was playing as X and I got up here, Zero showed up and he was damaged. And that's what caused him to have his buster completely damaged because, well, he was hurt by Sigma with the fight and whatnot. If you're playing as Zero though, X shows up and he's damaged. So really the difference between the two characters is, if you're playing as X, yeah, uh, Zero will show up damaged, and he won't have his buster. But if you're playing as Zero, Zero will get to keep his buster, but X won't get to keep his fourth armor. That's the two differences between each character if you're playing, you know, whichever one in the intro stage. So it's best to have, like, X's armor in the first place because it's an extra, like, selection for you in the character selection screen. It actually counts as an actual selection. Fourth armor. So there you go, guys. That's the difference between the two characters. I wanted to point that out. So anyways, we're going to get on uh, with this game and get started with everything. So here we go. And now for the continuation. Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X5. So now we're actually going to try to stop this uh, colony from crashing into Earth and making a giant impact. By doing that, we have something called the Enigma. It's a cannon, basically. And in order to enhance the Enigma, we have to go after these four Mavericks in general. Pay close attention to how they're being introduced, because that's the weakness order. So yeah, you saw a bear, we see this whale thing, and then, yeah. Basically, pay, like I said, close attention to how they're being introduced. We got a squid, and what could be the last person? It could be a firefly. So there you go, guys. And yeah, those are the weak or that's the weakness order right there. So that's how I'm obviously gonna go through this entire game. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that are in this game and whatnot. We have 16 hours to go through this uh, game, basically. Anytime you go through a stage, you basically waste one hour. Doesn't matter if you win or lose, you waste one hour. Now the funny thing is, despite the fact that we have 16 hours to do this, which is more than enough time to handle everything, I want to waste five hours. The reason why is because by doing that, it actually makes the Mavericks slightly stronger. And by doing that, it actually allows us to get some, like, stuff from them. Here you can see the Enigma status, you can actually shoot if you want, which is a bad idea. Here's character select, but this is my zero file, so I can't really show the fourth armor. But there you go, guys. Like I said, I want to waste like five hours and whatnot. So, and then you can see the other Mavericks. But guys, I'm going to waste five hours and I'll be right back and we'll continue this entire game. So give me a moment. Alrighty, I'm back. And yeah, I ended up wasting five hours just to make the Mavericks a little bit stronger. And yeah, I'm going to go through this first stage here against, well, in this version of the game, they corrected all the names of the, the Mavericks, basically. There was a lot of Guns N' Roses uh, references in the original game. And so, for the titles of the game, for each Maverick, I'm just going to leave what their original name was in the original game. Which, you'll see, is a bunch of Guns N' Roses uh, references. So, we're actually going after Grizzly Slash. You heard me, Grizzly Slash. And, yeah. Basically, we're on a train, and we have to destroy these, like, blue things on the front parts of the trains. And... You don't have to be as quick as I am, but I'm just trying to... Oh, boy. Come on. Okay. Well, I guess we're good. All right. But, yeah, you don't have to be as quick as I am. You can try to take your time. And I am playing on extreme mode, so I am uh, taking a little bit extra damage than normal. So, yeah, kind of not a good thing for me racing around taking as much damage as I am. Okay. Yeah, I thought there was an enemy down there. Whew. All right. Ooh. Okay. Get that guy. Get that guy. Um, we should be fine. He starts shooting any grenades, I can just jump out of the way. Yeah, as you can see here, because this is my zero profile, I have his buster. But normally you wouldn't have that if you play as uh, X in the intro stage, so... But, yeah, like I said, I'm going through this game with uh, two different profiles, so you can actually see the difference between the two. So, if you can't do the buster with uh, zero, well, it's probably because I told you to choose X as the main character for the intro stage, and I still stand by that. The fourth armor is just that good in this game. Not, uh, like, entirely perfect, but it's a lot better. But as you can see, Aelia kind of just, like, stops us every so often to explain pretty much the obvious. Uh, 
when we land out of the plane that was all, or on the train that was already exploding, she's like, oh no, the train's exploding, you gotta get off of it quick. Well, we can see the timer. Now, before you get off of that train, make sure you pick up that item. That was a sub-tank. So, we have a sub-tank now. But you get up here, and I guess this train is colliding into this other train, and it stops us in our tracks. But, yeah, guys, that was pretty much the entire stage right there. But there's something else that we can get here. And if you go up here, yeah, we have a Dr. Light capsule. And surprisingly, Zero can actually get the, well, armor for X. Now this I absolutely like. This actually proves that Dr. Light actually has like an AI program to him. Like he still has his conscience and he's AI. And yeah, he acknowledges Zero and everything. And yeah, you can see like he's saying that we got, uh, you know, this capsule here, but because of security reasons, yeah, we have to collect all four of the capsules in order to use this armor. So we can't just use one armor piece at a time and yeah, so we have to get all four of these, like, pieces right here in order for X to have the complete set of armor and be able to use it. Because of security reasons, obviously. So, there you go. And there, as you can see, Dr. Light's like, I'm sorry, I can't enhance your uh, abilities and everything, which I think is a pretty nice touch. And uh, Zero here asks about, like, his uh, memory right here, as you can see. Sometimes I see an uh, old figure of a weird doctor or professor, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Light's like, I don't know him. If I saw him, I might know. I think he does know, but he doesn't let him know. But I think this is a nice touch. I like this interaction with Dr. Light and Zero. It's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Awesome. But yeah, there you go, guys. Alright. Yes, this kind of goes on for a little bit. They really did so much with the story. And while it's nice and everything, it's kind of prolonged in my opinion but there we go guys we have the first piece of what they call the falcon armor so and that's a very nice thing of armor you definitely want to get all the pieces but for the most part just get through the stage oh geez i accidentally hit the select button <laughs> yep my bad okay ow wow i keep getting hit by this guy whoa boy i was not expecting him <laughs> Well, I'm low on health, but this guy is super easy. I can beat this guy without taking any damage. Trust me, I can. You'll see it here. As you can see, Zero is like hurting him, or hurt like crazy. Alrighty. As you can see, yeah, Grizzly Slash is now level 9, which is a very good thing. If I was playing as uh, X, though, he'd be level 7. But he'd still be able to give me, I believe, the prize I need to get. Yeah, if you defeat uh, Maverick, basically they'll leave something for you. You can either make a health up or an energy up. And depending on what you get, depends on what kind of, uh, like, equipment you get that you can put on X and Zero. Yes, you actually have equipment that you can put on each character. And Zero has four slots, X has four slots, his fourth armor has two slots. Okay, woo! And yeah, as you can see here, Grizzly Slash is going to try, like, shooting some stuff at you. He jumps around after doing that. And, okay, I got to back off. As you can see, he just keeps flinging stuff. They're like little, like, boomerang things, I guess. Whoop! And then here, yeah, he, like, tries to, like, he'll disappear and reappear like crazy. So you just got to try your best at uh, avoiding him. Whoop! There he is. And yeah. When he, like, slashes at you that time, he actually has, like, giant, like, projectiles, which, yeah, unlike uh, the last time he was shooting projectiles, which were, like, those small things, you have to jump over or cling to the wall. But, as you can see, I took no damage against him. Flawless victory! Ha ha ha! But, yeah, there we go, guys. That was, uh, Grizzly Slash. I'm gonna call him by their original names from the original game. But, yeah, that was Grizzly Slash right there. And for defeating him, what do we get? Oh yeah, you also get a rank up and all that other stuff. But yeah, as you can see here, by collecting, I guess, DNA from Grizzly Slash, you can make a thing which also allows you to make an equipment. So, there you go, guys. And what am I going to do? Uh, basically, I'm going to choose, well, the health up, because that gives me uh, what you call shock buffer, which allows me to take less damage and knockback. If you make the energy up, it basically makes a hyper dash, which means you can dash a little bit uh, faster. But, you also dash a lot shorter, so... 
give trade. But guys, this was the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man X5. I hope you enjoyed it. So until the next episode, guys, you guys take care. I'll see you all on the next one.